Okay, what's up traders? What's up tycoons? Super excited for today's video on Gala Games, ticker symbol G-A-L-A. -A. Now, we got the signs that we were looking for and Gala exploded over 200%. Okay, we've been tracking Gala a lot, giving you guys all of the key levels to pay attention to, the chart patterns, also the signals on the MACD, as well as the relative strength index. Now, in the last video, we highlighted how we were making a low and a lower low, but we had a slight bullish divergence forming on the relative strength index. And I said, well, look out for the MACD. If we can get a bullish crossover on the MACD, that could be our signal. And sure enough, we ended up getting a signal. And man, we really exploded along with uh, many other sectors in the crypto market as a whole. But Gala Games really, really outperformed Bitcoin there over a 200% move since the last video. So we're going to break down what happened and what we need to do to continue this bullishness. And if there's any warning signs that this thing could be coming to a crash. Okay, so make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're going to jump straight into it. So um, for starting off, we broke our major retracement levels. Okay, that's what we needed to do. It's no secret that we've been in a downtrend for this bear market. And as you can see, you know, we get a move to the downside, we retrace up to our major retracement levels, in this case, the 38.2. And then we continue heading down lower. So we had a new high and a new low, and we were looking and saying we need to break through these three retracement levels right here to get a reversal back to the upside, okay? Now, uh, that is actually what we did. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see that that is exactly what ended up happening, okay? So we're going to zoom in and take a look, and we exploded right past it, okay? So here were our three major retracement levels, the 61.8 the 50% and the 38.2. The reason you look at these and you monitor these, okay, is nothing moves in a straight line up and or in a straight line down. You either get a move down retracement continuation or a move up retracement continuation. This is how you spot trend continuation, okay? Now you also use these to spot possible reversals. So if you come down and you break through those retracement levels, then you have the chance of getting a reversal. Same thing on the upside. If you come up and you break through those retracement levels, then you have a possible of getting a reversal to the downside. All right. Now we got a reversal after breaking through our three major retracement levels. And we came up to our prior support level here of 0 0.0344. All right. We ended up closing there and opening there the next day and pushing up higher, closing exactly at our other price level of 0 0.040. Three, eight. We respected our two levels very, very well, and we're pushing up past them. So, um, you know, if we do get some type of a pullback, we really want to see us hold these two levels. But what we're going to do is we're going to use our Fibonacci retracement tool to give us the possible levels. So we have went ahead and slapped on our three major retracement levels of support now as we've had a large impulsive move to the upside. If we do get some type of a pullback, we want to hold above these three specific levels, the 38.2, 50%, and 61.8. And those respectively are going to be 0 0.031, 0 0.0362, and 0 0.0140, all right? Um, you know, it would be a completely healthy pullback if we pulled all the way back to 0 0.03130, and ended up continuing higher, that'd be great. Now, if we come down and we break through these levels, okay, that's when we could potentially be starting a reversal and come back to test our 0 0.02390 support level, okay? Um, so that's what you need to pay attention to and look out for. Now, we have a trend line here that we're testing currently. If we break this trend line, most likely we are going to come down and retest those retracement levels. But keep in mind the whole concept. You know, you have a big move up, you get a retracement, and then you continue higher or you reverse. So even if we do get some type of a pullback, a healthy pullback uh, could even be justified coming all the way down here, okay, uh, before ultimately trying to continue higher. Remember, as soon as we start closing below here and heading lower uh, and closing below there on the daily, then that's when we have the possibility of coming down and testing some of our previous lows at 0 0.0239, even down here as low as 0 0.0170. Um, now, what are some of the signs and the warning signs, right? I went over how, you know, we were looking for a MACD crossover, all right? And we got that. And then how we had bullish divergence on the relative strength index. There's some warning signs that we need to be very, very careful of right now. Specifically, we are uh, basically beginning a MACD crossover to the downside, right? The blue line has started to cross below. It really hasn't gathered any momentum. It's just below the orange line. 
But that's the beginning of a MACD exit signal. If this thing continues to head lower, we could see a big move to the downside, just as we did when we had bullish divergence on the RSI and a MACD entry signal. We got a large explosive move to the upside. All right. We have bearish divergence currently, and we have a MACD exit signal beginning, right? So we have a high here. We have a higher high. You know, we're making higher highs. Clearly, we're in an uptrend right here. But on our RSI, again, measuring the relative strength of a token at its given price, we're seeing that we're losing strength even though the token is going higher. We've rejected this trend line about four times. So uh, if you're bullish on this, you want to see us break this trend line, okay, break it, retest it, and continue to trade above this trend line. That's going to be a little bit of a bullish signal, okay? You want to see this MACD get back above the orange line and stay above. But if this MACD continues to head down lower and we break this trend line and we continue to reject this trend line here, there's a good possibility we're going to come down and at least test our three major retracement levels, if not potentially break through and reverse through them. As you usually get a big move whenever you get a bullish divergence or a bearish divergence combined with a MACD entry or exit signal. So you do need to be very cautious and aware. Now, this doesn't again, this doesn't mean that we can't get a healthy pullback and continuation up higher. Um, and if we hold this level right here, this trend line, then we could continue to push up and we want to see the relative strength the next break above here and see the MACD go back above the orange line. Um, so that's basically it for today's video. Just want to explain how you could have potentially spotted this really, really big and massive move that we previously had. You know, I, I laid it out there for you guys in the last video, gave you the outline of what to look for. We ended up getting that MACD crossover, um, you know, and we had bullish divergence on the RSI. Right now, we have a MACD crossover to the downside beginning. We have a major important trend line here we need to, you know, hold. And we have a bearish divergence on the RSI. So, you know, you definitely need to be cautious right now and be prepared just in case things do pull back and know the major levels that we need to hold for us to continue to go higher. Uh, not saying that we have to reverse and we have to break this trend line and go down. But just trying to, you know, warn you guys of the potential in case for some reason this thing actually does reverse all the way back down, uh, you'll have a little bit of a reason and understanding why. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out.